before we get started, I do want to um, give a huge thank you to Stephanie Croto at Croto Consulting in Deerfield. She put an awful lot of time into this, this um, project. It took a whole team of people, but she's the one that really put it all together. I also want to thank Chris Parker. You'll see why and um, when it comes up. And thank him for his ongoing loyalty to, to this organization and his contribution of time and talent um, to, to be the narrator of this. Um, Stephanie, is, um, the Croto Consulting is a uh, marketing firm. So if any of you are looking for marketing, um, whether it's communications or whether it's um, social media or branding or design, um, give Stephanie a call and, she, and she'd be happy to talk to you, I'm sure. So I think I can continue to admit people while this is started. So if everyone could please turn off your videos and turn off your, your audio, um, and then we can get started. Thank you. Welcome to the 2020 Plan New Hampshire Merit Awards of Excellence in Planning, Design, and Development of New Hampshire's Built Environment. This program honors outstanding projects that demonstrate how the built environment can have a positive impact on the community. Ordinarily, we would recognize these projects as part of a larger awards evening. Of course, due to circumstances this year, we could not gather in a live setting. We hope you enjoy this alternative. My name is Christopher Parker, the Assistant City Manager for the City of Dover. I'm also a proud member of Plan New Hampshire, and I've served on the jury who deliberated to select this year's awardees. We deeply appreciate these organizations for the support of this project. Plain New Hampshire is an organization of architects, engineers, planners, builders, and others who care about community design and our built environment. It has a vision of healthy and vibrant communities across the state. One way to promote this vision is to recognize successful implementations of it. Each year, there is a call for nominations for projects that have made a difference and that have had significant impact on the community they exist in. Nominations are submitted and reviewed by a jury of diverse professionals, most of which are Plain New Hampshire members. This group gets together annually to review nominations, discuss and deliberate. This year we met by Zoom to review each nomination and discuss and deliberate them. We had a variety of viewpoints and a lively discussion about each option. Of course, everyone sees projects differently and sometimes it's difficult to make a decision. Here is this year's team. Bank of New Hampshire Stage, Concord, New Hampshire. The Bank of New Hampshire Stage is owned by the Capital Center for the Arts. Key players in this project are Millstone Engineering and Construction, who submitted the nomination, the Dupre Companies, and Dennis Myers, PA Architect. The Bank of New Hampshire Stage is located at 16 South Main Street in Concord. It was formerly the beloved Concord Theater. From the beginning, there were two sets of goals. The first was to bring the 140-year-old building into the 21st century while preserving its striking and cherished historic elements. The second set included a state-of-the-art live performance stage with easily reconfigurable house, easily accessible pre- and post-show space that were welcoming and inviting, and overall, a venue that would be enjoyed by all age groups in the Concord area. In spite of the challenges of working with such an old building to get it where they wanted to go, today the venue is an eclectic and flexible space. Visitors can easily walk or bike to the venue from downtown and it's on a bus route. In addition, its flexible space means that a younger generation can stand and move with its music or other performances can be done in a more intimate setting. It's a welcome addition to an already vibrant downtown. Some of the jury comments were that it liked how it interacts with the community around it, that it's a walkable destination so attendees can also visit local eateries and other establishments, it's accessible financially as well as physically, it's a family-friendly venue, and it fills in the missing tooth in that part of South Main Street. 
Some of the key players have submitted their feelings about the project. First, we'll hear from the owner's representative, Nikki Clark, Executive Director of the Capital Center for Performing Arts. The Capital Center for the Arts is thrilled that the Bank of New Hampshire stage project is being honored with a merit award by Plan New Hampshire. This project was a significant and positive group effort, including our developer, Steve Dupree, the architects, Dennis Myers and Craig Jones, the entire crew from Milestone Engineering and Construction, and the leadership team of the CCA. Transforming the historic Concord Theater into a flexible venue, allowing for standing audiences in a club setting, and a more traditional setup in a configuration with an accordion seating system has been a huge hit with the community. Artists and audiences alike praise the ambience, sound quality, and the remarkable visuals on the giant video wall. It is a spectacular facility and a true enhancement to downtown Concord. And now let's hear from the architect. Thank you, Plan New Hampshire. I'm Dennis Myers and with me is uh, the person that made this project come to life, our project architect, Craig Jones. This was an exciting project for us and we really appreciated being part of this talented total project team and appreciate being recognized by Plan New Hampshire. It's been said that good clients make good projects and that was certainly true in this case. Steve and his concept for a marquee and making this project a catalyst for the continued development of South Main Street was a real driver for this project. And the uh, theater experience of Nikki and her team and their vision for what this multi-use space might become was really critical in making it come together and be as successful as we think it will be. Craig wants to say a few words. Thank you again, Plan New Hampshire as well. And thank you for those people that uh, helped along the way uh, that I got to know really well, Joe Gleason and Steve Martin. Of course, Nikki, but Nikki Clark was involved a lot, and Janine Poole um, as a board member. We also want to thank uh, Milestone Construction for uh, being involved in this. They made us uh, really look good. So thank you, Mark Goldstein and Frank LeMay and Rick Jones, who was the superintendent on site. We also had our consultants that were very instrumental in this, Tom Lamb and Nick Golan from TF Moran, John Waite from Design Day, and Vic Reno from Reno Engineering. I want to reiterate that uh, this couldn't have been possible without the help of uh, the city of Concord, without Steve Dupree's help to make this a jewel on South Main Street, just like the state house is on, on North Main Street. So thank you also to Bank of New Hampshire for their micro branch that uh, houses uh, a small part of the building thank you, Plan New Hampshire, for recognizing this project, the Bank of New Hampshire stage. Here's some interior shots of the facility. Congratulations to all involved with this wonderful project. MoCo Arts, located in Keene, New Hampshire. MoCo Arts owns the facility, and the key players involved were KCS Architects, who submitted the nomination, H3 Hardy Collaborative Architecture, Brickstone Land Use Consultants, Foley Buell Roberts & Associates, WV Engineering Associates, DEW Construction, and Ryan Bent Photographer. MoCo Arts is a 25-year-old family-centered nonprofit arts education organization located in downtown Keene. In 2015, they had outgrown their existing capacity on Railroad Street, relocated to a new modern building at 40 Roxbury Street. This new, larger, and easily accessible facility for a growing arts education program serves the Monadnock region. The organization provides education in the arts to children from 18 months to 18 years, dance and theater classes, 
multi-arts camp sessions, and more are offered. They bring together people of all backgrounds and income groups to participate, supported by a financial aid program that supports an even broader range of people. The commitment to enriching lives of local children and families has a long-term impact on them and the entire community. The project transformed a derelict downtown site into an environmentally friendly and energy efficient institute for performing arts education that works well in the context of Roxbury Street and Keene's Historic District. MoCo Arts is on the public transportation route, is easily accessible for walking and biking, and its downtown location allows students and families to shop and dine, thus supporting economic vibrancy in Keene. Some of the jury's comments were, great walkability and connection to downtown contributing to economic and social vibrancy of Keene. The jury liked the inclusivity of bringing a diverse group to develop and design the new site, as well as the students in the programs. Finally, the project went above and beyond with environmental considerations in siting and design. Let's hear from some of the people involved in the project. First, Reagan Messer. Hello, this is Reagan Messer from Moco Arts in Keene. It is an honor for us to receive the Plan New Hampshire Merit Award, and this would not have been possible without the contributions of many. I would like to thank Katie Cassidy Sutherland and her team at KCS Architects. I would like to thank Ariel Fausto and his team at H3. I would also like to thank Don Wells, Mike Smith, Mike Farm, Jim Maloney, and Bill Greenwood, along with their teams at DEW Construction Company. As a nonprofit multi-arts education organization, we believe every child should have access to the arts. And this is why we provide $79,000 a year in tuition assistance. These individuals and their companies believed in our mission and provided us with a state-of-the-art arts education facility. This building, which is home to many, allows us to better serve our community and will also allow us to make a difference in the lives of kids in our region for generations to come. Thank you. Katie Sunderland. Hello, this is Katie Sutherland of KCS Architects in Keene, New Hampshire. We are so honored that our MoCo Arts project has been recognized for a Plan New Hampshire Merit Award. We share this distinction with our collaborators, including H3, who brought their internationally renowned theater design capabilities to our community, Brickstone Land Use Consultants for their smart site planning on a very tight downtown lot, Foley Buell Roberts and Associates Structural Engineers, and WV Associates Mechanical Engineers. We remain grateful to Reagan Messer and everyone at MoCo Arts for the opportunity to give form to their amazing vision by creating a modern and energy efficient building that brings a derelict downtown site back to life and provides an all-inclusive arts education facility for the children in our region. Thank you so very much for this distinction. Congratulations to MoCo Arts. Our next project award goes to the northern part of the state from Littleton, 23 Amanusik. Jesse Griffiths is the owner of this project and key players include Garland Mill, who submitted the nomination and Bruss Project Management. The renovation of an old building in Littleton was a vision for owner Jesse Griffiths, resulting in what is now a hub for creative thinkers and doers. In it are the Little Studio School, currently a pottery, jewelry, painting, basketry workshop space, some of which are large enough for community meetings, and an innovative STEM program that's part of the White Mountain Science Initiative, yoga classes, and more. There is a lobby and outdoor space facing the river for all to mingle. The education and artistic capacity and wellness that the anchor tenants provide the broader Littleton community of all ages and abilities under one roof creates a robust social fabric in the area. 23 Amanusik is part of a larger revitalization of this street, which now includes a brewery, an ice cream shop, and more. It's just a few yards from Littleton's bustling main corridor and provides a connection to the river. The building itself offers space at below market rates, encouraging entrepreneurship and room to grow. The building itself is efficient, powered by the sun, and offering charging stations for electric vehicles. 
What makes this project stand out is that the original spirit and hope of generosity, delight and collaboration modeled by the owner has taken root in Littleton and made an immense impact on the well-being of the community. It has become a center for residents to create. Some of the jury comments were, this is a great example of a project that has had a huge positive impact on a community. They went the extra mile for inclusivity. The project galvanized the community and filled a need. And the jury loved that they provided a public area along the riverfront. Let's hear from some of those involved. First, Jesse Griffiths, the owner. It's so exciting to be recognized by Plan New Hampshire as their 2012 Littleton River District Design Charette was instrumental in our planning for 23 Amanusik. Being a part of revitalizing the River District attracted both Ben Southworth of Garland Mill and me for a variety of reasons, including being a part of a movement larger than ourselves, collaborating with organizations and individuals who were making a difference, and in particular, supporting arts and education in Littleton. We chose our three tenants, White Mountain Science or WIMSY, Littleton Studio School, and Iyengar Yoga North for their mission-driven work in providing spaces for hands-on learning to people of all ages and walks of life. The building is made live by the dynamic community of people who inhabit it, bringing arts and education to an invigorated building on the river. Thank you so much. Next, Ben Southworth from Garland Mill. In the same way that 23M Anusik creates a new way of being for small nonprofits in the area, the design and construction of the building itself represents a new generation of practice. The building is super insulated, which results in very low energy bills and a comfortable space for the occupants. Ventilation with heat recovery provides high indoor air quality triple paned windows eliminate condensation and mold. Super efficient heat pump technology provides all electric heating and cooling. Because the building runs entirely on electricity, its rooftop 30 kilowatt solar array can cover most of its energy use. Battery storage with a state of the art machine learning algorithm deploys stored power during periods of peak load. Two car charging stations allow 23M Anusik to use its excess renewable energy to power clean electric vehicles. It's fitting that the next generation of scientists and artists and yogis will learn their practices in a building that does its part to keep the river, the town, and the planet they grow up in healthy and clean. Finally, Bill Church from White Mountain Science. On being and working, at 23M Anusik. My name is Bill Church with White Mountain Science, or as we shorten it to, Whimsy. Our name implies both a connection to place, the mountains of Northern New Hampshire, and a way to work with Whimsy. The sound of the playful Amanusik River running outside our windows reminds us of both every day. Our fellow tenants do as well. The studio school reminds us to be playful in life through creative expression. Iyengar North reminds us to not only stay connected to place and play, but to our body and breath as well. We are so very grateful to be a part of this amazing community at 23 Amanusik. Thank you very, very much. Congratulations again, 23 Amanusik. Our final award of 2020 goes to the Madbury Public Library. For those of you who are not familiar with this small, very rural town, it's between Dover and Durham. The owner is the town of Madbury. Key players include the Madbury Public Library Board of Trustees, Susan Sinat, the Library Director, and the Friends of the Madbury Public Library, the Board of Selectmen for the Town of Madbury, Placework, who submitted the nomination, and Chapman Construction. The Madbury Public Library is both a traditional library and a new community center. 
a place to engage with ideas, technology, neighbors, and the surrounding natural assets. Brought to life by the extraordinary 20-year effort of a citizenry committed to supporting the venture, the new building serves as the library's first permanent home. In 2002, a capital reserve fund was established at the town meeting for the purpose of establishing a library building fund. The selectmen designated a parcel next to town hall as the site, and for 18 years of town meetings, the town added funds. This allowed the town to partner with the nonprofit Friends of the Library in funding the new facility without a bond. The new library includes meeting spaces and a community room that also serves as the town's coffee shop. Its design fits well into the traditional New England architecture, but it's definitely a 21st century building. Its placement next to Town Hall and across from the elementary school and playing field rounds out the concept of a town center in this rural community. It is designed for programs for people of all ages for now and into the future. Jury comments include, impressive that they were patiently saving for 18 years to complete this project. The jury liked that it was situated with other community buildings and near walking trails. The jury liked that it enhanced the civic core of Madbury and gives a feel of a downtown. The jury loved the grassroots concept of the project and believes that yes, it is a beautiful design. And now for a few words from those involved. Noreen Getchens, Library Board of Trustees. On behalf of the Madbury Library trustees, friends, staff, and the Madbury Board of Selectmen, I am delighted that Plan New Hampshire has recognized our library project for this special award. In 2001, through the efforts of dedicated volunteers, Madbury residents voted to establish our first public library. Originally housed in a closet at the town hall, it was soon moved to a small ranch house and a capital reserve fund was established to build a new library. In 2014, capital campaign and building committees were formed. In place work architects, Brian and Melissa Murphy were selected to design our new library. We were impressed with their understanding of our community and our desire to build a central gathering space, reflecting our appreciation of nature and respect for the environment. Through many meetings, Brian and Alyssa worked with us offering creative design options. They engaged in conversation with residents at town and neighborhood gatherings and were responsive to our many questions and concerns. We chose Chapman Construction Design to serve as construction managers. We were impressed with their organization, dedication to the project, and attention to detail. When construction bids came in over budget, they offered options and we were able to break ground in April of 2019. A festive opening day celebration on December 8th drew a large crowd of excited neighbors and friends. Families enjoyed the children's area. Others commented on the spacious community room and all appreciated the beautiful windows framing views of the surrounding woodlands. This project was a true community town effort. We are grateful to all who donated their time and treasure over the years to bring this remarkable new library to our town. Next, Brian Murphy from Placework Architects. Hello, I'm Brian Murphy, Principal Architect at Placework, an architecture and planning firm located in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Thank you, Plan New Hampshire, for selecting Madbury Public Library as a recipient of a 2020 Merit Award. I am proud of many years of association with Plan New Hampshire and the mission to cultivate vibrant, healthy communities throughout the Granite State. Congratulations to the town of Madbury for being selected for this distinct honor. We at Placework feel that that honor is indeed ours to have been part of a truly heroic and epic effort that started in 2001 with a small closet full of books in Madbury Town Hall. This is a community most certainly and wholeheartedly dedicated to keeping itself vibrant and engaged. And I'm grateful that that community entrusted Placework to help make that endure. Nothing says community like the shared treasure of a public library. I want to say thank you to Emily Chadwick, PlaceWorks project manager, to Justin Powers and the amazing team at Chapman Construction, and most especially to Noreen Gations and the project steering committee in Madbury for a four and a half year collaboration that gave us all so much. Best wishes to Madbury for many happy and enlightened generations in their public library.
Finally, Justin Powers from Chapman Construction. Hello, I'm Justin Powers from Chapman Construction, and I was the senior project manager on the Madbury Library Project. I want to congratulate the founding mothers, steering committee, and the town of Madbury on this award that truly commemorates their 20 plus years of planning, fundraising, designing, and building. And I want to thank them for choosing Chapman to be a part of this very important project. I also want to thank Placework for partnering with us and capturing the essence of the Madbury community in their thoughtful design. It was a pleasure working with the entire team and I am personally honored to have worked on a project that had such a positive impact on the community. Congratulations again, Madbury Public Library. Thank you again to our sponsors for this presentation. And thank you to everyone who submitted a nomination. What we build, where we build, and how we build anything has an impact on our communities. Let's continue to make it positive. And finally, we invite you to consider showing your support for this and all the work of Plain New Hampshire. Please become a member or make a donation. If you can, do both. Thank you.